Hey tires, welcome back to another fly tying tutorial. Darren here. Today we're going to be tying a super floss blood worm. You might also know this material as flexi floss. Basically, this is just a uh, super stretchy material. It's pretty versatile. I like using it for bodies on coronamids, and it, uh, as you can see, it makes a really nice extended body or a furled tail on some of these blood worms. You can even do it on. Uh, different chronomids as well. But just by varying the tension on the floss, you can make it thinner or thicker, and it lays uh, down fairly smooth. The only thing is you want to put a coat of either cement or even better would be a one of the UV resins uh, just to kind of make a bulletproof pattern. So let's have a look at the materialist and get started. All right, let's get a fresh hook in the vise. I'm going to be using a Mustad C49S and I'm going to be using a size 10 here today. And the thread I'm using is a Danville 210 denier flat wax nylon. And we'll just start by putting a base layer of thread. Just want to kind of completely cover the thread the uh, hook base there. And I'm going to take a piece of the super fly um, super stretch floss just need one piece for this and I'm going to tie that onto the hook. We'll take that back. Just get that started. And I'm also going to tie in along the side a piece of gold oval tinsel. You can also use like copper wire or gold wire. Work just fine. So this stretch floss, I want to pull that back as I wrap, I want to keep the uh, oval tinsel on the side of the hook shank there. All right, got that in. I'm going to take my hook back almost to the front of the hook. Then I'm going to take this and I'm going to start twisting it clockwise. I'm going to do that about 10 times I guess. What we're doing is we're just putting a little bit of a uh, twist into that flexi floss. Once you've got that you can lock it in just with a couple turns of your thread. And then I pull that floss back just to help thicken up the body and it makes it a little bit easier to tie the fly. Puts a bit of a nice taper in there as well. So as you can see we've got our furled body in behind the fly. And then we'll just simply pull a little bit of tension on this and we'll wrap it up. Just in behind the bead here. You want to make sure you definitely go on both sides of the flexi floss. It's pretty slippery, so you don't want it to slip out. Okay. 
and then we'll just rib this three or four times. And we'll add a whip finish. And then just for a little bit extra durability, I'm going to add a little bit of uh, hard as nails on there. And we'll give that a few hours to cure before we fish it. And there you go. There's the Flexi Floss Bloodworm. Hey Fly Tires, thanks for stopping by and checking out my Fly Time videos. If you enjoyed the video and want to show your support, hit the thumbs up and share it to your social networks. I hope you consider subscribing to the channel and if you do, be sure to hit the bell icon to get notifications on my latest fly patterns, tips and reviews. If you have a question or comment, leave a message below. You'll also be entered into the next draw for some of the flies I tie and a few stickers. Until next time, this is Darren saying, keep a hook in your vice. Cheers.